we are looking at time series analysis, okay? And um, in class, we want to look at how, okay, this uh, analytical tool is applied and to what kind of series, okay? Or economic data do we apply this um, tool, status care tool, okay? That is our main focus for today. Now, the question is, what is a time series or trend, what we mean by trend analysis? A time series, it just consists of a set of observations measured as specific, okay, time intervals, right? So any set of observations on economic data or on business data, which is measured in equal time intervals, is referred to as a time series, okay? Now, time series analysis attempts to identify uh, factors that exert influence on the value of the series or of the observations you are having, okay? So if we are looking at, um, let's say, unemployment rates, okay? And then we take the data from, um, uh, back from 2000 to 2020, right? We want to, first of all, examine the pattern in there and what factors are accounting for the, the trend that we are having, okay? Basically, that, that is what um, analysis, time series analysis is about. Now, we are saying that time series analysis is a basic tool for forecasting, okay? Industry and government must forecast future activity to make decisions and plans to make to meet what projected changes. Okay, so if we have data on, let's say, unemployment or inflation or CPI, okay, we have data which is moving sort of this from a period, okay, we have yearly period from 20, okay, 20, 2020, 2019, sorry, 2021, okay, 2022, okay, now 2023. Then we are saying that what we need here is to identify, okay, the pattern within this data and the various factors accounting for this so that we can we can forecast, okay? We can predict what is going to happen in future and make necessary arrangements, okay? In terms of decision taking and policy at various levels, okay? It can be at um, the business level or at government, okay? Economic level, good. So what we are saying here is an, an analysis of trend of observations is always needed, okay? To acquire an understanding of the progress of events leading to the existing world conditions, okay? Good. Now, a trend is defined as a long-term underlining growth, okay, movement in a time series. That is the first definition we need to look at as we are going by, we'll get to know the various types of factors or patterns within the time series. Okay, good. And we are saying that an accurate trend spotting can only be determined when the data are available for a sufficient length of time. Okay, so we don't run a time series analysis uh, based on let's say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine data sets, okay? We need a very sufficiently lengthy time. Mm -hmm. Don't just take um, a yearly data and then you decide to run a time series for the next three, four years. No, you can't do that. You need a minimum of 10 years of data to be able to forecast okay, into the next year or two, mm -hmm. good. 
Now, we're also saying that forecasting does not produce definite results, okay? Of course, it's a, it's a modeling tool. Uh, it's a modeling tool, and every modeling tool has some amount of error within the model, okay? So it doesn't give a perfect, um, let's say, prediction, okay? But as much as possible, we come out with the best, okay, uh, forecast or the best, okay, model for forecasting, okay? Which obviously will give us the best forecasts, okay, for every period. Now, examples of some series which uh, can be modeled using time series. We saw quite a number of series in the previous class, okay? We looked at economic data, we looked at uh, population data, we looked at health data, okay? And uh, so on and so forth. So these are examples of some rates or some data sets which can easily be modeled using time series. So examples are inflation rates, our uh, GNPs, uh, GDPs, uh, maternal mortality rates, share prices, unemployment rates, okay, the population, foreign debts, interest rates, and sales data. And I'm sure you've seen the patterns, okay, for quite a number of these um, factors or these measures, okay, on the website I, I, I showed you right so we were supposed to go and have a look at the patterns of this economic data okay economic and social and demographic data from that web page so i expect by now you've seen the the trend and the series for um in ghana okay good now in any time series there are let me say four main factors, okay, within the series. Uh, so when you are giving the data, there are factors that influence uh, the data, okay? And um, by saying factors, I, I mean, there are components within the data that can be sorted out to help explain the observation that we are seeing, okay? And these four key components are, First, the circular trend, or what we usually call as a trend. Okay, we have the seasonal variations, we have the cyclical variation, and we have the irregular variation. Okay, good. Now, these four are illustrated within this um, graph here. Okay, so we can see a typical, okay, a series graph going that way. Uh, and within it, we have the general trend. You can see that even though it's oscillating sort of, okay, it's still going up. Eh? Then illustrated by this line, you can see the trend is actually going up. The data is still going up, okay? So that is what we refer to as trend. Eh? So this upward, downward, or stationary, okay, motion of the series of the observed data, okay, is what we refer to as trend. Mm -hmm. Good. Then we also have what we call as uh, cyclical, okay, uh, variations. Cyclical variations are. In fact, they, they are not regular. What I mean by what I mean by not regular is they don't have a fixed period, okay, where you can say, well, after every five years, um, you observe this. Eh? Good. And usually in terms of uh, uh, businesses, okay, sometimes business will start small, right? So from the beginning of operations, they will be at their very lowest. Mm, which requires a throw, then eventually they'll pick up to a level. Once they pick up after about five to 10 years, you see, um, obviously challenges with uh, business growth also coming, right? So you see that the business will 
operations will come down a bit. Eh? Then probably through uh, new strategies, marketing strategies, changes here and there, they will come up again mm? and then it keeps going. So there isn't a fixed period for you to say maybe after five years, you always see the pattern. And this is illustrated by this pattern which we are seeing here, okay? So it could happen uh, when you look at it between the peak and the uh, throw here, right? We have close to like four years. Uh, then between this, uh, okay, recession, to the peak again, uh, we have, let me say about, yes, close to four years, uh, but it is not regular like that because in in normal pattern, so you can see that from here in, in, in the next, okay, section here, from the peak to our recession here, which is a toe here, we have just about two and a half years, okay? So it is not an equal interval. You don't observe cyclical patterns, peaks uh, at equal intervals, but they still do occur, okay? In most time series data. Good. Then the next type of variation we can talk about are the seasonal variations. So the seasonal variations is what we are seeing here, okay? So this happens in on, on yearly basis. Eh? So sometimes within the course of one year, eh, the sales of, let's say, um, sales of cards, okay? Sales of um, some commodities. Eh? Yes, or always rise getting close to the end of the year. So something like Christmas cars and all that will rise at the tail end of the year. But in the middle of the year, we are not likely to see, I mean, sales of uh, cars that much. Mm -hmm. Good. So you always see that there will be peaks at the latter stages, latter months in the year, whilst we are going to have uh, a fall, okay, in other stages in the year. And this this is consistent. It happens every year. Eh? It happens on every year. So you find out that on the various sections here, let me clear the screen first. Okay. So in one year period, you observe this pattern here, okay, which is sinusoidal. Then in the next one year, you are going to observe the same pattern coming up, right? Uh, so it keeps revolving and you see the same pattern over and over, the same pattern in this year to over and over, and it keeps going on, right? That is what we refer to as a seasonal variation, okay? Sometimes, I'll take you to uh, to R to demonstrate um, uh, a, a real time data. Okay, so that you really see how this um, um, variations really explain the data. Then we also have, um, apart from seasonal variation, we also have irregular patterns. Eh? So you see, we don't expect the data to be so smooth, just moving around. So in the midst of the data, you can see some uh, irregularity within air. So it is moving though, but in the movement of it, there are irregularities, okay, in the, in the, uh, in the pattern, the seasonal pattern. Sometimes it can just go off. Uh, uh, so the irregularities in that seasonal pattern, it, the flow is not that much. Hmm? It's not that smooth, sorry. Good. So we also need to account for those irregularities if we are to successfully or effectively okay, predict and forecast what is going to happen. There is a need for us to look at those irregular variations. Now, 
The next thing we want to look at is how they occur or what they really are, uh, their definitions. Now, we've talked about trend and we said that it is a long-term growth or decline of the series, okay? So a trend could be a, a growth means the, 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 the data seems to increase, okay, generally. And then, or it, sometimes it declines generally, okay? Good. Just like um, in terms of decline, we have mortality rates going down. Okay, and uh, sometimes inflation goes down, other times you see it going up. Mm -hmm. Then we also have, it describes, uh, no, the next point is, in economic terms, long term may mean more than 10 years. Okay, so if you want to observe the trend in data, you cannot use data sets below 10 years. Okay, you have to get data sets collected over 10 years to get the true trend in the pattern of the data. Good. Now, trend describes the history of the time series. It tells you where we are coming from and where we are going. Okay. Now, it uses past trends to make prediction about the future. Okay. It's a model based on the previous data set. Now, the next point is where the analyst can isolate effect of circular trend. Changes due to other causes become clearer, okay? So if we are able to isolate um, the trend in the data, we are also able to account for the other variations or, or the other factors, okay? which contribute to the observed data. Okay, I see your hand up, Robert. Yes. Like I said, um, I want to use um, R to demonstrate this um, patterns or these compositions uh, of factors within an observed data, which needs to be explained. Mm -hmm. Good, so I have a data here called air passages. Okay, and I've decomposed the four main factors in the data set. Now, let me just call the data um, which I assigned to TS data. So this is TS data. Okay, that, that is the data set I have. Okay, so you can see that we have observations. Hmm? from January to December each year, okay, for the past 12 years, okay? And like we said, you, you, if you want to forecast, it is not advisable to use just 10 data points. Eh? You can't just take one year and say, okay, I have data from January to December, <laughs> not acceptable. You can't take one to six years, January to December, eh? It's not a, fine. One to six years, January to December, you have close to like um, over 60 points, eh, which to some extent will make sense. But you see, you can't forecast beyond two, three years with six years of data. You can't do that. Uh, it will be inappropriate. But you can forecast for the various months eh, for the next one or two years. That, that one is acceptable. Okay, good. But if you want to forecast on for yearly basis about five years from now, then you need to have more than 10 years of data for that purpose, okay? So that is the data. If we were to plot, okay, just the, the TS data, let me just plot TS data. Uh, So if we were to plot TS data, this is the this is the plot of the raw data on um, air flights. Okay, the raw air flight data. This is how it looks like. Uh, 
and clearly we, we can see the parties. Mm? So when you look at this, look at it, within every two years, it seems we are observing this kind of sinusoidal pattern, but with some kind of air, the pattern is going like this. Okay, within every two years, but with some kind of randomness, eh? the, the randomness are here. Irregularities are, are, are over here. Okay, that's what we are talking about. So we, we have these irregularities. They are not the same if you look at it carefully, but the pattern, that seasonal pattern is still there. Eh? So within every two years, or let me say within every year, you see from Okay, it just goes like this. Every year you see something going like that, right? So that is the seasonal party. Then you can also see that the trend appears to be also going up, right? There seems to be an up, upward trend, okay? So what we are saying is, if we really need to understand how the trend, how the randomness, how the seasonality and the cyclical patterns are accounting for this data, okay? When we say accounting, how, how they contribute to the data we are observing, right? Then you have to decompose the various factors, okay? Good. Means you have to sort them out. And by sorting them out means that you, you need to go, okay, to decompose the data. Mm -hmm. So we decompose the data using um, can be additive model or multiplicative model. Then um, you, you plot your decomposed series. Okay. So when we plot the decomposed series, you will see that it gives you the trend, how the trend is moving uh, in the data. Then it also gives you, th this is the observed data. Mm, what we plotted earlier. It has given you the trend. It has given you the seasonality. Uh, what is happening within the season on yearly basis. Okay, good. Then the randomness that has attached to the seasonal patterns, okay, is also sorted out for you. So that when you are making focus, you have to take into consideration this Okay, various components to make your forecast. Good. Now let's go back. We'll be coming here again in the practical section. So let's go back to what we're doing. Okay, so we've already seen um, what trend is, okay? And um, I wouldn't spend my time on this slide, okay? So the next one is seasonal variation, which we've also talked about. And we are saying that seasonal variation of a time series is a pattern of change that recurs regularly over time, okay? Seasonal variations are usually due to differences between seasons and festive occasions, such as Easter and Christmas, okay? Examples include air conditioning sales in summer, Eater cells in winter, flu cases, okay, malaria cases, okay, in Ghana. Uh, we have um, even um, electricity data, consumption of electricity, okay, is also um, influenced by the weather pattern. Eh? So all of these things can have seasonal variations in them. Good. So We've seen an example, and this is another example of a, a seasonal pattern. So from within every year, you can see that the, the pattern looks the same, okay? It looks the same, except for some few variations, but it's always the same. And getting to the end of the season, you can see that this talks about monthly retail sales, okay? Monthly retail sales, okay? in a certain department. So at the, getting to the end of the year, you can see that there are peak sales and this happens every year, okay? Every year, that is what we refer to as a seasonal variation. 
Then we also talk about cyclical variation. Okay, we said these are also recurring parties, but with a longer, they, they are longer than the seasonal variations, okay? And they are more erratic, okay? In the sense, in, in their time scale, okay? Because we cannot fix, uh, 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 I mean, an equal interval or a fixed time for the occurrence. Sometimes it can occur, the same pattern will occur after five years. Sometimes it can occur after 10 years, okay? And sometimes it, it might not even occur at all. If it's a business, okay, uh, data, over time, the businesses also learn, right? Uh, so some of the mistakes they did, they don't repeat them, which means that we are not likely to observe, we are not likely to observe what the same occurrences after some time. Good. Just a minute, please.